multiply then simplify if possible okay let's do that. so let's go ahead and distribute this square root of 5y so that would give me the square root of 5y times the square root of y and we're going to add we need to distribute it also to the square root of 5 so I got the square root of 5y times the square root of 5 and if we put these over the same square root this first one gives me 5y times y plus the square root of 5 times y times 5 but we can rearrange these right if we really need to on this one I've got a pair of y's so we can start factoring that out and I'm gonna move it to the front so I've got a y times the square root square root of 5 plus and on this one I've also got a pair of 5's they're just not next to each other so I'm gonna skip that commutative property step and I'm gonna move it to the front 5 times the square root of the y that remains that right there is as far as we're gonna take this one in terms of simplifying it so 5 times the square root of y, uh, 5 what the heck did I just say? y times the square root of 5 plus 5 times the square root of y. Isn't 5y times y 5y squared? Yes, which is why we're able to factor out that, that y from the y squared.